Hello everyone, Lucky Marshall Production back again. Here's another model I got for Christmas. Personally, out of all of them, it's my favorite. Duck of the Great Western Ninja. And uh, this is the one in the original uh, 80s packaging. You can tell it because it says, The World of Thomas the Tank Engine by Horn Babe. So, let's have a look at the packaging first. So it uh, has a picture of Thomas the Tank Engine down there, the original Thomas. And uh, it says R382. Duck. GWR number eight. Right on this side, well, this side's been blown off over time, I guess. But I mean, it's an old model, so not recommended for children under 36 months. The world of Thomas the Tank Engine. I will be there. Got the same thing under there. Oh, I, actually, it's not. A little bit different. Not suitable for zero one. I, I'm not sure. Maybe that means from like eight zero to one. I'm not going to. The complete world of Thomas the Tank Engine can be seen in the latest Hornby Railways catalog. And the world of Thomas the Tank Engine by Hornby based on the railway series by the Reverend W. Audrey. Uh, and, uh, whenever they used to have boxes, you'd have to flip them like this so you could see it right side up. It's pretty cool. It's like printed upside down. It's kind of cool. Additional items for world of the Thomas the Tank Engine. Thomas the Tank Engine, Percy, Tidmouth Milk Tanker, Open Wagon, Closed Van, Brake Van, Annie, Curbo, Tunnel Station, Water Tower, st Signal Box, Signals, Engine Shed, Good Shed, and a Footbridge. So that's quite a range of what they had back then. Made in England by Hornby Hobbies Limited. And their address there. And it says, Red right Ernie Thomas, K and Ward uh, Limited, 1984, Brit Allcroft Limited, 1984. So. I think it says 1984, although I'm pretty sure that duck wasn't released until, uh, I don't know, like, I think it was 86? I don't know, I could be wrong. But, uh, let's get, uh, let's get him off the box, so. There would have been a flap right here, I'd imagine it just says his product code on it, probably, but the flap's not there, so it makes it easier to unbox, you just go. And so, so I'll put that off over there, and, uh, here's duck. This is when the uh, older packaging didn't have the hole, so just kind of grab them by the foot plate or the running board, per se, and you can take them out. Also, it didn't come with instructions, although, trust me, I have plenty of uh, M-type motor instructions. But uh, here's Duck. So, I cleaned Duck whenever I got him, because he, he's an old model, figured he'd need a cleaning, and uh, you can see the wheels are very shiny now. That's pretty good pickups. He runs pretty good for his age. You have to uh, run him for a while before he starts running very nicely. Just because, obviously, he's so old, then you have to give him a bit of a running in. So, you have traction tires on the center wheel sets. Hornby, made in Great Britain. So, obviously, he's an older model. Hot duck. You can see that he has two whistles back there instead of just one. That's what they got wrong. But, uh, you have this little... Sorry. You have the safety valve here. It's just painted green, like it should be. People say it should be painted gold, although I don't know where they're getting that from because it's actually painted green. I don't know. I guess, you know, Oliver and Emily both have that, and it's gold, so I guess your first assumption is that it should be uh, gold, but it should be green, so they yeah, got that right. He has a uh, dome there. This is based on a, a Pannier tank by Hornby. It's a closed cab. Oh, before I forget, there's a little bit of history about Duck. Duck was... Uh, Brought to the island of Sodor to help Percy with his work, if my memory serves me correct. And, uh, he's formed a bit of a rivalry with Diesel, Devious Diesel. And, uh, Duck's real name is Montague, but, uh, engines call him Duck because of his, uh, his waddle. You know, he kind of waddles when he moves. Yeah, that's Duck. Also, one of his famous quotes is that there are two ways of doing things, the Great Western way or the wrong way. Yeah. So that was just some history about Duck. Duck's face. Very, very good. Bit dark, but, uh, you know, Gorn's face is dark, so I guess it kind of doesn't really matter. Most people's Duck's eyes are looking over this way, which mine kind of is, but I like how it's kind of looking more straight than off to the side. Which is better for videos. GWR, so that stands for Great Western Railway. You have number eight. It's the same thing on either side, by the way. And, uh, you have the splash over the wheels. People will say that the running board is incorrect because it's gray, although actually the Railway Series one was gray, although the TV Series one was uh, 
black. The rally series one was gray, so he's more rally series accurate. This little uh, splasher, I think, should also be gray. Although, don't quote me on that, it could be wrong. He's missing a step right here, that's the only thing he's actually missing. Oh, and I believe that there was a ring around the funnel, but... He's an older model, I like the used feel of Doc, uh, Doc, you know, there's just something about... Something about him. I like the used sort of look. Here you have his coal loader, you have the uh, cab holes on either side, the little window cab holes. Sorry, the, this thing likes to pop up sometimes. Uh, there's no glass on it, but it's nice. There's no in cab detail, but you can see the motor through there. Red on um, the buffer beam, and there's buffers. I'll show you that uh, you can actually, where the handrails are, is actually a seam. You can remove the top of duck. Bit, bit spooky. But uh, you can see the inside there where the motor is. Uh, that's probably done for easy access and, maintain and uh, maintenance. So, yeah. I don't know if everyone's duck does that, but uh, mine certainly does, and it makes it a lot easier to get to the motor. T for uh, maintenance. Here, I'm just gonna do this off camera really quick. Make sure I don't uh, mess anything up. And it should snap in like so. All right. He has golden handrails where I believe they should be silver, but uh, kind of looks cool, so I'm not complaining. Very nice wheels. The older models, uh, how you can tell for Thomas and friends, well, I've learned this over time, is that the newer models. You see very little of this actual metal ring around the wheels, where the older ones you can see more of like the silver. And it looks cool. I like. I personally like the older look of them. If I think I have a newer model. Yeah, I have Henry right here. I just reviewed Henry. And uh, this is the newer Henry, the newer CGI like Henry. You can see that, that there's very little of that ring around the green showing. For on ducks, it's quite obvious. I don't know. Just kind of like the older look better of the uh, wheels. Um, yeah, there's not much to say about Duck, really. He's pretty basic, but, uh, he's a very, very good character. I like him better than Oliver, although my, my brother disagrees. But, hey, I don't I don't own a Hornby Oliver yet. He, he's rare. Although he's rare, I don't really care for Hornby Oliver at the moment. I'm trying to get other characters before I get him. Uh, yeah, but, very good model. Duck is a very good model. I, I really do like him. It's uh, funny about my duck is that he actually kind of does waddle because of his age, so <laughs> makes him more authentic. So yeah, that's about it to say about duck. I mean, I rate him a solid ten out of ten. I mean, the, his shape is just so well done. The pannier tank look, the Bachman duck just looks too like like small or like too squished or something like that. Not something. Not saying it's bad. It's more TV TV series accurate than rally series accurate. But if you guys like TV accuracy, then TV series accuracy, then you know whatever. Personally, I don't think anyone watches the TV show anymore, so I don't think it really matters. I think people. I'm a kind of person who likes a rally series uh, a lot. So, Doc overall, as I said, ten out of ten. Very good model, and uh, for character. I like Duck's character, so it really suits him. Like and subscribe, and uh, Lucky Merchant Production signing out. And tell me what you think about Duck. Oh, and also, uh, someone spammed this video with uh, Great Western, Great Western, Great Western in the comments section just because I don't care anymore. Alright, see you guys later. Bye. There are two ways of doing things.